No one looks at a gorilla and thinks that's a winnable fight. For humans, no, absolutely not. But there are animals out there that could defeat a gorilla. Gorillas stand as tall as 5.8 feet in many cases, so about the average height of a human. But they can weigh 595 pounds. That's basically three humans put together. Gorillas are extremely powerful primates with massive legs and powerful arms. You never want to come across one in the wild and make it feel threatened. But there are some animals that may come across a gorilla and think, not so terrible for me. Elephants The first animal we have that wouldn't back down from a gorilla is the elephant. Elephants are the largest living land animals in the world, so everyone else looks small to them. There are several subspecies of elephant just as there are with gorillas, but it doesn't matter. Every time, the elephant is larger. They can reach 11 feet tall at shoulder height, and they can weigh upwards of 1,300 pounds. Both gorillas and elephants inhabit many areas of Africa, so their paths could cross. And though gorillas don't back down from many, if they saw an elephant lumbering through, they'd have to. Both are herbivorous animals, so neither would be looking to make a meal out of the other. But if either felt threatened, they've both been known to attack other animals. Though a gorilla is a tough match for many, an elephant is an impossible match for all. Take that tremendous size and that weight that is nearly 26 times the weight of the gorilla. Add to it the fact that a charging elephant can reach speeds of 25 miles per hour and then plop two dangerous tusks at the front of the face and you have the scariest battering ram ever. If an elephant connected just a handful of times with its head or tusks, it's a really bad day for the gorilla. It would be best to avoid the land animal that is bigger than everyone else. Wolves Next on our list is one that is not so cut and dry. Wolves. One single grey wolf can be 6.6 .6 feet long and weigh up to 180 pounds. So yes, one single wolf isn't really going to stand a test against a gorilla. But as is the case with wolves, they're never alone. It's always a pack of several wolves together. Now this still doesn't mean they'd beat a gorilla every time, but they'd have a unique advantage. A pack of wolves is a cunning bunch and has their strategies to take down their prey embedded into their brains. You likely wouldn't have a situation where wolves would come into contact with a gorilla as they don't inhabit the same areas, but if they did, watch out. We don't know if they try to make a meal out of a gorilla. It might depend on what food sources were around. But if they needed to attack the gorilla to defend themselves, they could circle around the gorilla and use their numbers as an advantage. They'd attack all at once, otherwise, the gorilla might be able to fend them off one by one. But even if the gorilla decided to flee, he'd still be in trouble. Gorillas can run up to 25 miles per hour, but for distances much shorter than wolves. Wolves are marathon runners, they're built for the long haul. They can run at speeds of 37 miles per hour, and they can keep fast speeds for long distances. If a pack of grey wolves caught a gorilla on the run or had already circled him, that gorilla would be in for a long day. Cape Buffalo Gorillas live in sub-Saharan Africa, so they don't see wolves out and about. But they may see Cape Buffalo in the region because they inhabit the same areas of Africa. And these are scary animals. They are herbivores, feeding mainly on grass. But that doesn't stop some people from calling them one of the most dangerous animals in Africa, especially if wounded. The Cape Buffalo might have the worst temper of any animal in Africa. It's easily angered, and if you get too close to its herd, you're lucky if all the herd does is charge at you to scare you away. If they felt threatened by a gorilla, or if a gorilla had lashed out and attacked one, injuring it, now the ape is in trouble. Cape Buffalo stand 5.6 feet at the shoulder, so a gorilla is taller. But a Cape Buffalo is usually around 11 feet long and weighs 1,900 pounds. They're bigger than a gorilla, and they're also faster, hitting speeds of 35 miles per hour. And the scariest part of this angry, charging, nearly one-ton animal are those strong, sharp horns on the top of its head. The horns are a weapon and come with their own defense system. They form what is called a boss that covers their entire forehead. And if the Cape Buffalo charges an enemy, they like to lower their head, position the horns underneath, and buck upwards. Not only will the horns gore their opponent, 
They may catapult them into the air. No gorilla wants to let a Cape Buffalo get that position on them. Rhinoceros. Speaking of horns, we have another scary horned animal on our list of animals that could defeat a gorilla, the rhinoceros. The gorilla may beat its chest as a way to warn predators of its strength, but a rhino would be unfazed whether the gorilla beat his own chest or the rhino's chest. Rhinos have thicker skin than most animals, usually 0.6 inches thick. The gorilla's fists will do minimal damage. Plus, the rhino just has the gorilla beat in almost every phase. If we are talking about a white rhino, they're about 13 feet long and weigh 5,000 pounds. Have you ever wondered why a charging rhino is known as one of the most terrifying things on the continent of Africa? Pair that size with the top speed of 30 miles per hour, and you have a locomotive that you don't want to be standing on the train tracks when it comes around. Oh, plus that horn. A minimum of 20 inches long of strong and sharp keratin wielded as a weapon. The gorilla could perhaps use the trees as cover, jump on the rhino from above, use its agility and athleticism. That may be its only chance. But even that isn't a guarantee. And if these two met out in the open, the rhino would win every time. Spotted Hyena Another contender has entered the ring, a spotted hyena. Native to much of Africa, this is another animal that could cross paths with a gorilla. Now, a full-grown male spotted hyena will typically be 5.5 feet long and weigh around 140 pounds. And though it is the most common large carnivore in Africa, it isn't larger than a gorilla. But the hyena will go the way of the wolf. It knows it couldn't take down a gorilla on its own, so it would work in a group. Just like wolves, hyenas hunt in packs. And though the hyena is smaller than the gray wolf, it has a secret weapon, that bite. The spotted hyena has the strongest recorded bite of all carnivorous animals. It has a bite force of 1,011 PSI. So if a hyena is working in its pack and surrounding the gorilla, the gorilla would be preoccupied with their sheer numbers. And though the gorilla is strong and could fend off a hyena or two or three, the pack would be at least six strong. All it would take is for one to jump in with that loaded bite, and the gorilla would be in serious trouble. Once wounded, another hyena could jump in with another loaded bite, and we think you see where it is going from here. Jaguar And the last animal we have on our list that could defeat a gorilla in a battle, luckily for the gorilla, isn't in Africa. The Jaguar, native to the Americas. But if the Jaguar ever did find itself in Africa, or better yet, if the gorilla found itself on the home turf of the Jaguar, deep in the Amazon rainforest, the gorilla could have some problems. The Jaguar is the third largest cat in the world, measuring over six feet in length and weighing 350 pounds. And though it isn't the biggest cat in the world pound for pound, it is actually the strongest cat. Of all the cats, it has the strongest bite force, 2,000 PSI. Its bite is strong enough to go through a turtle shell or a caiman skull. Speaking of caiman that weighs several hundred pounds, that is one of many of the jaguar's favorite prey, along with 400-pound deer and 1,000-pound cattle. The point is, though the gorilla outweighs the jaguar, the jaguar has no problem taking down animals larger than itself. It does so regularly, it is strong, it is an agile hunter, it is sleek, and did we mention it is fast? Jaguars can hit speeds of 50 miles per hour. Good luck outrunning that powerful feline. Given the right situation, if a gorilla had a chance, it could battle with a jaguar and emerge victorious. But we are going to give the edge to the jaguar more often than not. So that is just one more animal the gorilla will want to avoid. Luckily for the gorilla, an entire ocean separates the two. They've been doing a good job avoiding them so far. 